Hey guys, um, welcome back to my videos. Um, got some exciting things to show you in this video. Um, so you probably have watched, if you haven't, um, watched the guide tutorial on how to make your own Google Glasses. Um, so the, I've been doing this for like a year or so, and I've been trying to make my own prism and make the display as vivid as possible. Now, um, I've come across little little issues here and there with um, trying to get clarity inside the prism. Um, you do, you can, without, um, you know, you can get very good view on it, but the unfortunately, least, you know, in, in bright daylight and certain conditions, you're not going to see anything through it. So... Um, I came across a lot of um, th um, components that I could use to make it better. I tried to stay away from it because I want to make this as cheap as possible. Um, then I finally came across some guy who did a similar kind of thing and used a 50 pound um, prism, uh, which is like a really small cube, which I'm going to show you, you, which is here. And that really, really does make a big difference. Um, so the device you see here, right in front of you, this is my latest version of my Google Google Glass. You can see immediately that the front is really small, it's tiny. Um, that's because that one centimeter cube cost me about 50 quid. I can, I will um, give you tips on how to get a cheaper version, so you don't need to get a cube. Um, in this model I bought a cube, let me just take the top off. So you can see it properly. Alright, so I just taped it on. Um, so here's electronics. Same as before, the screen now is sitting here. You have the mirror, which is now here, um, reflecting the screen right onto um, a piece of magnification glass here. I've taken this from um, Google Cardboard. You get two circles. Um, to magnify the display I've taken that um, and um, just cut it to size really and then you have this prism if you look carefully I'm not sure if it's going to focus in no oh. so no it won't focus okay so here you can see this little line going across now this is a um, polarized cube they cost around 50 to 80 quid, 50 quid from AliExpress and uh, 80 quid anywhere else uh, onwards. Um, so this indicates that it's um, po pointing towards the mirror. So when you reflect on it, it will then come into your eye. Um, it works amazingly. I'll show you in a second. So you don't have to buy this 50 pound version. What you can actually do is get a right angle triangle and stick it there instead and it will work exactly the same and they cost around six quid to about eight quid so i would um advise not to like i, I spend a lot of money on research and um yeah i would advise guys i've done my research you can just get the six to eight pound right angle triangle um prism and use it online you're going to find lots of cheap defected prisms don't go for them Try to stick to um, optical prisms. Um, if it says defect, ignore it and just try and find one that isn't. Um, now, let me just run it up and I'll show you how clear this screen is. Don't know if I'll you're going to be able to see it. We'll give it a go. Right.
having trouble getting you to see the screen. Uh, sorry, I got some loose circuits, which is causing me a bit of pain. But, yeah, I don't think you can see it. Trying to get that to um, You probably can make it out there. You can about see it about there. Something going on that screen. There we go. Can you see that? Now that is amazing. That is pretty clear. Right. So, if you follow the tutorials, make the modification, change the prism to one of these, you're going to get a display very close to the Google Glasses. Um, I wired the battery pack um, incorrectly or the battery's actually dead so for me I have to keep plugging it in <laughs> to make it work and the um, switch here isn't very good it's a really bad switch you have to literally hold it up to make it work so that's why I was struggling earlier to try and get this working um, but I also got something else I want to show you so that's the improvement from the Google Glass that you all have seen I've also worked on another project which is this little thing here well I say little it's actually quite big considering the size of this um, now uh, why did I do it I have a lot of you guys contacting me regarding um, um, adding a camera to this project being able to stream video onto it, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. This device here is purely, um, it hasn't got the power, because it's running off Arduino, to do much apart from text-based, and um, you can probably do some objects and shapes and stuff like that in the glass itself. So notifications, is, it was kind of designed for that, notifications and maybe navigation or something very simple, informative kind of thing whereas um, if you want to do something a bit more hardcore you need actually you actually need a computer inside <laughs> inside this thing so I'm using a Raspberry Pi uh, zero um, and you can see it's here Raspberry Pi zero and I'm, I'm using the Bluetooth module and that means I've you have a complete computer in here so you can actually um, run Linux operating system on this um, and it's chunky because it, at the moment I'm using the big cheap Raspberry Pi camera at the front so you can actually record what's going on um, and then play back if required and then I'm using this 50 pounds uh, monocular, monocular display you can get off AliExpress this is very good like you, it's not like a prism. This has got a projector in here, which projects cl pr pretty clear images into your eye. So you get a nice big screen in your eye. It isn't see-through, but it, it does do a good job. Um, it does act as good as the other display. But the other display, because it's not so chunky, um, you can just look at, at it when you need to and then look away. Here, this thing's going to be in your eye. Um, you're not going to see like, you're not going <laughs> to, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't blind one of your eyes. It actually, um, the, when the two images in your eyes kind of merge, you actually see everything around you and then the image kind of floating up in in your eye. Um, so I do recommend if you are want to, if you do want to do a big project, kind of like, um, something very more hardcore, get one of these displays, um, I create a case for it um, and then just wire it all up. It's very simple. This comes with a cable for um, is it it's an RGB or C? 
comes with a um, composite, sorry, composite cable. So you just connect the composite, you cut the wires and connect it to the composite on the Raspberry Pi Zero, and then you get yourself a nice powerful display uh, compared to this one. Um, I'll start it up because it's a Linux operating system. It takes a bit of time to boot up, so I'll leave that to boot while I talk to you guys about another cool thing that I've been working on. So that's that display. Um, and this is my, uh, my <laughs> latest project. It is my own very own HoloLens. As you can see, it's still work in progress. Um, has tinted glass at the front. I made the case and designed it myself. And then inside, it's quite straightforward. Um, there's a screen up here, an Arduino sitting on top, and this piece of um, acrylic allows the screen to reflect onto it, so you can get a nice uh, display from the screen onto the acrylic. Uh, you know, it's the same concept as, as I've been using throughout with the um, the other screens, so you should be quite familiar with it. Um, it's still a work in progress. Um, there's lots to do. Still need to add another screen on it, and hopefully, um, this will be a very nice augmented reality display. Um, and I will be keeping you guys up to date with these. So I do make a lot of these um, kind of devices. I don't really go into too much coding. I know a lot of you guys ask about the coding side of things. Um, I find as though that's the easiest part of this thing, this whole process and most of you guys are going to have your own needs for coding so you should just um, try and um, build, build build one of these and uh, try and code it. It's not very hard to do. Um, you can find lots of tutorials online. Let's see if you can see anything through here. Oh, there you go. You can see the Raspberry Pi logo. It's quite vivid. So when I move around you can see that red juicy Raspberry Pi and the green bit at the top. So yeah, you can see the whole desktop in there. That's what you'll see. You see this thing hovering. You won't see the black obviously around it. You see this thing hovering in space in your eye. So if you want something very much more powerful, I suggest you make something like this. Otherwise, um, what we've been working on the last few tutorials that will be good enough for you um, I'll power up this display as well to show you progress it's nowhere near ready um, as a product for use but um, yeah it's just something I've been working on recently okay so again front you don't see anything but hopefully you can see that blue dot. If I bring it closer, if it focuses, there's text in there, but um, yeah, you can't see it on the. But yeah, so you can see that the screen is reflecting there, and then there will be another screen, screen there, reflecting onto that surface, circle with some text, and then you're gonna have the same one on this side, doing the same thing. So hopefully they'll merge into one. And you're going to get a nice augmented reality experience from that. So that's it really. That's all I want to talk to you guys about today. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. And I'm quite excited about the new things I'm coming up with. And good luck with um, building this with the proper prism now. Um, and uh, yeah, keep me informed of what you guys are doing. I love hearing your YouTube um, comments. And uh, yeah, see you next time.